we will start the second video of the unit 7 there in our first video you can remember that uh, we discussed the concepts about systems and we to told about different types of systems open systems closed systems natural systems living systems likewise right so today uh, we have to go to uh, the next concept which is called as information systems when we go for the information system first of all we have to check what information is so this was discussed in our first chapter uh, the relationship between data and information normally data are considered as raw facts data are raw facts raw things once they are processed the process may be an addition subtraction a comparison sometimes a logical operator just like greater than less than so any type of processing will produce results which are called as information so then information are results prepared from data this is what information then we will see what information systems are information systems are a type of a system it's also a system if it is a case this should be having small items small components which are connected to one another and they are going for a certain goal that's the idea behind system we do it if it is an information system the goal or the intention is to handle is to work with information This is what an information system is. Information system is a system which is dealing with, which is handling with, which is working with information. You can remember the early systems, the basic system idea, the vehicle, even uh, the human body. So are they dealing with information? No. Therefore, they are not information systems. If it is the case, what are information systems? So that it's a system which is dealing with information. Uh, we know about EPOS. What is EPOS? Electronic point of sale. That is a system runs at the sales counter. You can remember that we did this already. Where it's with a computer, the barcode reader, even the printer, and all the items to be sold in the shop are printed with the barcode. And you can remember that the barcode is representing a certain item code. It's a data. Assume that this item code represents by this item. Then 0175. That's the data available in the barcode. Once that is read by the barcode reader, the computer compares that with the database available. And with that database, it is processing the relevant information that is the price of this item even the name of this item and some other details and they are going to the bill so there is a processing going on is this processing related to our information handling or not yes definitely why this is giving you information so that epos is that said to be an example of an information system yes definitely right so then that's the idea of an information system it's a system which is working with information or else it's a system which is handling information it's a system which is preparing information right now epos is one such example is that the only example we can come up with information systems no we have more now we have another example called as payroll system what is the job of the payroll system it is the system to prepare monthly salaries of the employees monthly salaries of the employees are prepared with the help of the payroll system is there a relation with data and information we'll see in order to prepare the salary we need the attendance of the employees assume that we collect the attendance employee 111 working for 20 days 222 15 days 333 23 are these data or information these are data they are all facts figures and they are submitted to the payroll system the monthly salary preparation system according to the processing it is preparing the relevant 
results, information. These are information. Why? From those data, they find that employee 111, the name is Nimal, his salary is 35,000. How did we get 35,000? That's the processing by the payroll system. Then we get it. Again, the next employee got this much. Then the other employee is getting 52,000 as the monthly salary. The payroll system is also an information system. Why? This is again dealing with or working with information. I think you got the correct idea what an information system is. It's also a system which is working with information. If I am explaining that further, this payroll system is collection of items. Is it collection of items? Some of the items are the attendance sheets. Attendance sheets. Sometimes they may use a computer. Or else they may use calculators. If they don't use computers, they may use calculators. So they are items we use and they are connected. Attendance sheet should be submitted to the computer or else attendance sheet should be uh, working with the calculator. They are connected. And this has a goal that is to prepare salary. So this is system. Since it is working with information, this is called as information system. So I think you are clear with the information system concept. Next, uh, the other concept. Once you go for the information system, we know what it is. This is going to be Categorized into three categories based on the way they process. Information system is working with information, generating information. The way we process information, we can categorize the information systems into three. One is batch processing systems, online processing systems, as well as real-time processing system. These three categories are based on the way the information are processed by the system. Right. Now, first we'll go to uh, the online processing systems. I'll talk about batch processing in a while. Online processing systems are quick in processing or quick in responding. No problem. So, they are very quick in responding. So, whenever you give the inputs, now for the system we need to submit inputs. As soon as you submit the inputs, it gives you the output. Best example is ATM for an online system. We know about ATM well. So into the ATM, we insert the ATM card. Then we insert the commands, how much money you want, what is the account number, PIN. As soon as you insert those details, it gives you money with a little change. But the delay in order to give you money is not half an hour, it's not two, three days. Just few minutes or few seconds delay is there. That is accepted under the online processing systems. But we consider this as a quick responding or quick processing system. We just give the insertion and uh, the outputs are there. A slight delay is there that is of few seconds. Then once you go for the real-time processing systems, that's very quick in processing. Online systems are quick in processing. Fine. This is very. So that the processing is very quick, we don't expect any delay in order to get the answers. We will see what are such examples. The best example is auto braking systems of a vehicle. If you go for a vehicle, if you go for a car, whatever vehicle, there's auto braking systems in modern vehicle. What they do is there's a sensor fixed into the vehicle that is always observing the front pathway, the uh, road. And as soon as the sensor detects an obstacle, a human or a certain blockage, the sensor detects that there's a blockage. Then the system gets that message, there's a blockage at front. Then as soon as the input is received, the braking system is sending messages to the wheels to apply brake immediately. What about the delay in between detecting the obstacle and giving the braking signal? Is that 2-3 seconds? Is that uh, minutes? Or oh, no delay at all? No delay. So can't expect few seconds delay by that time. So sometimes it may be microseconds delay depending on the communication, uh, the data transferring delay. Other than that, no any delay is accepted. Therefore, we say that real-time systems are very quick in responding. Another example for uh, real-time systems are 
online reservation systems. The best one is air ticket reservation. So we know that air ticket is also a certain competitive reservation system that's through the internet. There's a server available to continue the this server available to continue all the reservations. And from around the world, the passengers or the customers are trying to reserve the seats. Then if this customer is dealing with a certain seat of a certain reservation, at the same time, the other customer should inform that this seat is already handled or reserved. So can't expect seconds delay there or minutes delay. So it should be another real-time processing system. I think you are clear with these two. Online is quick, real-time is very quick. They are both are quick. Now we'll go to the batch processing system. Batch is not quick at all. It's a delayed processing, delayed responding system. Slow in processing. But when you go for the uh, method how the batch processing system works, it is going to be processed or it is processing your commands, your data under three steps. There are three steps to process under the batch processing. First step is collecting data. They collect data. Then organize them into batches or groups. After that, the items in groups are processed one after the other. We'll see. The one example is uh, the payroll system. We know what payroll system is. That's the salary preparation system of employees within a month. By that time, we know that uh, the inputs for the payroll system. What are the inputs of the payroll system? In order to prepare sal salary, what should we insert? In order to prepare the salary, is a payroll system. Uh, the employee should provide the attendance that is done daily. At the first of the month, employees are going to the working place and give their attendance. Maybe signing the signature book or else they may give the finger. So that's the input. First input is given. As soon as we give that input, are we getting the outputs? What is the output of the payroll system? Salary. So employees are going to the working place giving their finger, input is given, and expecting salary. Will they uh, get salary at the very first day? No. Then they go to the second day, go to the working place, give the finger. Will there be salary? No. So that's the data collection. The system is collecting data for the 30 days. During the entire month, they collect data. That's the job of the processing system. Still we feed data, but they are not processing. Then that's the first step, collecting data. Next one is organizing them into batches. So once you reach the 30th of the month or 31st of the month, what the payroll system does is the collected attendance details are categorized into groups in order to prepare salaries, just like manager's group, then um, clerks drivers. Likewise, they categorize why the way the salary is prepared for managers and drivers are totally different. Then they find who are managers. These, these are managers. These are clerks. These are drivers. That's the second step, organizing them into batches, groups. Once they organize all the data into groups, now each and every group is processed one by one. They take the manager's group, first manager. And the system is preparing salary for the first manager. Then go for the second manager, preparing salary for the second manager. Third manager, preparing salary for the third manager. Once the processing of all the manager's salary is finished, then we go to the next group. The benefit there is, once you prepare salaries for managers, the settings of the system, the daily payment, sometimes the overtime, or sometimes the other payments, are same for all the managers. Only the change is the number of days they work. So it's easy for the system. The configurations of the systems need not to be changed once you process details of managers. So when you finish processing all the managers, now we go to the clerks. When the salaries for clerks are prepared, should the system be changed? Yes. Now the daily payment for clerk is different. Earlier managers daily payment may be 1500. Class daily payment may be 750. Then you have to change settings 
and the overtime rate may be different and some other extra payment may be different than managers then all the many all the clerks are executed the first clerk insert the number of days work and the salary is prepared then the second clerk insert the number of days salary is prepared third clerk fourth clerk right. then uh, once you finish all the clerks then the configuration has to be changed into drivers this is what the batch processing system is the batch processing system is suitable whenever you have uh, whenever you have to execute large number of items normally in an organization there are around hundreds of employees then in order to prepare salary for hundreds of people the best solution is going for batch processing system next thing here is uh, the other example is electricity bill preparation in order to prepare the electricity bill or water bill of the domestic users that's also done in the form of batch processing why we know that during the 30 days of the month the meter is collecting our usage and the meter reader visits your place and they take the readings of all the houses sometimes it may be businesses it may be temple we know that the electricity bill or water bill bill preparation is having many different packages or payment schemes depending on the domestic use business usage we know that electricity bill water bill is more than the domestic temples there are concessions the billing method is different so all the meters are read uh, and at the 30th day they are sent to the billing system and the billing system they are categorized into houses but, uh, business and template temples so then that's the grouping or batching then after the groups each and every uh, bill under the house category are processed so then uh, that's the execution of items then we go to the next group business they executed temples they executed so then this is also executed in the form of batch processing under the three steps collecting data during the 30 days and creating them into groups or batches into house business as well as temple and then execute them in groups so this is also another batch processing system i think you are clear with the three concepts the information systems are in three categories based on the way they process batch processing online processing as well as real-time uh, systems